This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit. The lesson I'm on is Program Design Process. Make it your own. Oh, awesome. You just walked through someone else's plan for creating a program, so now it's time to make it your own. What additional features or challenges do you want to add? Do this. Select one of the challenges below to add to the game or come up with your own, a challenge of your own. Change the look of the layout of the screens. Use the buzzer or the LED to show when one player has been when one of the, one of the buttons has been clicked. Set the icon 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 color property of winner image to the winning color. Oh, I was thinking of doing that already. Make the emoji start out sad, change to meh, and then end up happy. Oh, I love that one. Use the variable and conditions to make sure players can only move their emojis when the game screen is showing. Ah, okay. Well, I want to first do this one, the icon color of the windscreen. What they're talking about is this. And so that's the icon I put on there. What I wanted to have it do, though, is since our players' names are red and blue, I'm going to say, uh, let's do UI set property. And I don't really care um who's won yet i want to do or i don't really care about the frequency i can do it up here um the id of this i named this Ooh, did i not give it an id image one yikes i named this trophy because you should have descriptive and good ids if you're my student i never you never saw that happen a uh, trophy i thought i did name it honestly trophy and then what i want to set though is the color and then what do i want to set it to well since our parameters are just going to be the names of our players and our players names are colors whatever player wins will have that set now change the look and design of the layouts i'm fine with the layouts i think and i could change the background color See, now they make me start thinking about all this stuff. Whoa, no. No, I don't want... Sure, a really light purple color-ish, I guess. Okay. Look, I changed it. Now, all right. Use the buzzer or LED to show when one of the buttons has been clicked. Ah. Well, when they're clicked, so is pressed, function event, Move player, check win. So whenever it is pressed, we could right here do a circuit control. LED on. And then LED off. I'm not sure, though, if that's going to be, which one is that? Let's try it. That's the left button. Oh, yeah. It's blinking super fast. I'm not sure if you can even see it blink. Yeah, you kind of can. Cool. So we could do something like that. Oh, we should see if the icon is. Ta -da, go, emoji, go. Ha ha ha. Cool. And now here. Icon, make the emoji start out sad, change to meh, and end up happy. Okay, that one's a bit more complicated. Hmm. Oh, gotcha. So we can use a set property. Okay. So if our icon's gonna start out sad, we should change the design. I knew that. You could also hit choose image and just I can also do choose image and pick the icon. So now midway down the screen, I would say when Y is and I gotta remember that it their y value is from the very top so maybe when their y is 215 now i'll say when their y is 200 
So right here, if player Y is greater than 350, but if I want to change the image, I can do, I'm going to switch to text mode because it's easier. Well, here, I'll show you. Control if above this, I'm going to do if player underscore Y is I'm going to do it a lazy way, but if player underscore Y is greater than 200, so their Y is greater than 200, I'm going to go ahead and for Y is greater than 200. What happened to my other? Oh, well. If player underscore Y is greater than 200, I'm going to set property of that player. So if it's greater than 200, I want to change their image to be a meh. And then what do I want to change it to? Choose icon. And then beneath this, so I'll instantly now check if player underscore is greater than 300. So for a split second, and this is, there's a way to not do this, but I'm going to just do it. Um, it will always, de if it's over 200, it's going to be min no matter what. But then if it's over 300, it will right after that, go ahead and change to a smile. All right, let's give it a shot. Maybe I did something right. Can't figure out. I messed something up. Line 50. Oh, well, yeah, that's because it should be player Y. Oh, no. Yep. Meh. Smile. <laughs> That's fun. And I might even change these up. Maybe I should have this at like 150 and this at 250, something like that. Let's try now. I'm going to do it with red. Meh. Ah. Victory! Haha! <laughs> That's fun. Did that. Make sure that players can only move. Oh, when the game screen is showing? That is a challenge I will leave to you. Uh, this has been super cool. I can't wait to see what else we are going to build. Onward!